morning everyone um i don't know how this is going to appear because i went live and my phone's just popped up with a weird message but let me know if you can see me um and yeah so good morning uh it's been ages and ages since i've done a live in this sense so in my own habitat not like last week where i was just running around with a gigantic bunch of balloons and stuff um but what we've decided is um I need to do more of these lives to share so we have so much stuff going on um all of the time and it can be quite hard to update it on social media all the time although the website's up to date and everything and I think sometimes we just like a bit of a personal level with you um so we've decided yes that I'm going to do more lives to so have a chat with you it gives you a chance to kind of get to know us the people behind it well more specifically me seeing as unfortunately you're stuck with me doing these um but Anyone that is new to Red Balloons, um, and I know there's loads of new people since um, I started doing these lives in lockdown. So first of all, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that started following us, uh, joining our groups, um, and anything to do with Red Balloons. I want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you. Um, I will pre-warn you that these lives are never scripted. They're very much just how I feel and what I need to say. Um, I often have some of the team updating me on what I might be missing or kind of getting me back on level if I go off on a tangent so yeah I'm just very as you see and I get very excited and I babble a lot so yeah um, and if I didn't say it, I'm Claire so hi but yeah today's live is it's, it's really exciting because we've got a lot of things to share if you've seen the Facebook post it's very along the lines of Sesame Street it's all about numbers today um, I'm not a numbers fan normally um, I've always one of these ones that hate math but these numbers are incredibly exciting so yes prepare for me to not make much sense at all um first of all the number three so yesterday marked our third birthday for red balloons as actual activity groups so back in november 2018 i started the very first run and rant group um which was the next step up from the peer support group that we used to do on tuesday evenings so we used to meet on a monday night it started off um at sainsbury's in stockton and we started off the first group there was two two members um i won't name them because i didn't ask them if i could but two members on that group and from that week onwards it just grew from that group um we met i met the absolutely amazing lee trimble who is now um one of or the main steaming person of red balloons and i from the bottom of my heart and i tell her all the time but from the bottom of my heart i want to thank her for all her incredibly hard work um and i met her because of run rant so that's like a massive thing and it's huge and then it just kind of grew so we started with a run and rants I'd, obviously i qualified as a run leader and running is a massive part of my mental health journey i've blogged about it as any of you that have followed red balloons for a while know so red, running it is a massive part of all of this thing um but don't worry we although running rants are coming back as of january which is incredibly exciting incredibly exciting um it's much more focused around our walk and talk groups which are doing phenomenal so it's weird to think that it was three years ago it doesn't in one way it feels like ages ago and in another way it really doesn't and to think that that small running group has now grown into this amazing thing it's just it's just incredibly like humbling really that all of you kind of have just jumped on and stuck by me and the group and the volunteers and everything um so yeah wow so happy third birthday to run and rant and the walking groups um the other number is 20 that is how many group leaders we have at the minute who operate our walk and talks um i didn't write the names down which is very awful so i'm not going to start naming them all um can't believe three years i know it's amazing um but i want to say for to have 20 people in that group with volunteers coming on board all of the time um again a massive thank you to all those people who give up their time like i said they're volunteers they don't get paid they give up their time every week to operate these walk and talk groups um all of our all of our group leaders and our volunteers have all come up through the kind of service user route so they, they've followed red balloons either online they've joined groups themselves they, they've talked to us through um our messaging platform or anything like that and it's so amazing to think that it, it's so amazing to see their journey from someone coming like myself who was massively struggling with mental health and, and started this in order to help i've always always said that i only ever started this to help just one person feel a little bit better than what they did um 
So to have that amount of people volunteering and leading groups, like doing all of the volunteer training and everything and to lead their own groups. Um, some of them um, are support walkers. Some of them actually, like I said, lead their own groups. And then there's so many different availability, um, so many different options in order to get involved with Red Balloons um, on a volunteer basis. So we don't, we aren't just looking for walk leaders and run leaders, although please, if you are interested, come on board. We are, for lack of a better word, we are, we are desperate for volunteers because we are growing and the, the need for mental health um, support is huge across the whole of the UK. Um, so please don't think that just because you're not necessarily in Teesside that there isn't some way that you can help support us because there most certainly is. Um, I've completely gone off on a tangent, haven't I? Yeah, I've lost my thing. But yeah, so to have 20 group leaders and everything to to lead their own group. So Preston Park, Rockner Park, Darlington, we do one-to-ones, we do Hartley Pool, we do all over the place. Um, and that started off, like I said, from three years ago, one running group. So that's unreal. But and one thing that like I am mega proud of, and again, all the credit goes to Lee for this, is we now have two paid members of staff on the team. Um, yes, we are predominantly run by volunteers, and no, I am not one of the paid members of staff. But we have two paid members of staff for for Red Balloons who are operating two funded projects across the Teesside area. Now that, I'm sorry, that is that is phenomenal. To, to say that we have staff, and the reason why I'm excited about that is because we want to give that opportunity to people. We want to be an organisation that helps people on the route into employment, into a job that gives them passion, that they have an interest in, that gives them kind of maybe a purpose that they've been that they've been missing um, previously. Something that I want people to wake up on a Monday morning and not dread the fact that it's Monday morning. And I think once you find something that you, you're really dedicated to and you're really passionate about, um, you, you don't care what day it is. It could be any day of the week. Every day could be a Saturday because you just want to wake up and just give back and yeah what though again it's volunteers who've went through the the process of coming into red balloons then volunteering for us and they're the ones that have stepped up in the paid roles and again that is just like it it's a credit to to them as people to how the organization runs but also to all you people that follow us um that attend our groups that message the page um that share our posts that that alone is massive like to see how many shares we get on some of our Facebook posts to reach people. you I've always said that you never know who's scrolling through Facebook and they might see a post and think, do you know what, I, I get that. Like, It's nice to know that someone understands, an organisation understands that they might just sit and watch our posts for a while and watch the activity and see what goes on and then approach us, message us, contact us through the page and then they get involved um, with us one way or the other, whether it's one-to-ones. Like I said, we have... Um, systems where you can have one-to-ones first before to get you up to the confidence that where you want to join a group and meet more people and there's just so many different processes around it and I'm probably not the best person to explain it because like I said I get really excited um but yeah there's so many different ways that that we can help and support and as always a thank you to the organizations in Teesside who refer people into us who talk about us who spread the word about us we wouldn't have even got anywhere close to where we are now without um, the network and I talk about that all the time I talked about that on the the live when I did um, the 10k on Sunday but it really is collaboration working partnership working knowing that as a community we can help a lot more people than just trying to keep people in ourselves and and not share what other resources and support is out there and, and that's vital um, in my opinion so I will spread the word about all organizations not just us although obviously red balloons is my favorite I have to say um, and the last number I'm going to talk about is 2,000. Now, it's even, from me, from my point of view, it's really, really hard to get my head around it, in a sense. Since February 2020, just before COVID really, really hit and we went into lockdown, but February 2020, all during COVID, all during all the lockdowns and everything, as everyone knows, we had to adapt and change. Um, we, we never paused our services. We never stopped our work. We just kind of had to mould it to, to make sure that we hit government guidelines and stuff. We have helped over 2,000 people face-to-face, -face, like 2,000 opportunities for people to talk face-to-face. -face. And I must stress that at these groups, at these one-to-ones, um, I've always said it and I reiterate it over and over and over again. And I think it's very important that we do. We're not trained counsellors. We never we never say that we are. We're not therapists. Um, we're not practitioners or anything like that. 
we are simply people who understand from a lived experience point of view um myself god you hear all about me so i won't go about myself but all of my volunteers they all have different forms of um, experience not necessarily with mental health diagnoses but we do have um volunteers who have official mental health diagnosis for certain conditions but we have people who have struggled with bereavement that's been a massive one um and hand on heart it's something that i i struggle to help people with um because i'm one of these people that don't always know the right thing to say and sometimes i learn that there isn't always the right thing to say um redundancy relationship breakdowns job stresses just basically we have experience across so so many different things so um the experience yes i rate education a lot i rate professional qualifications i'm currently in the process of getting my professional qualifications um i am aiming to be a health psychologist in a few years time so we have that interest as well and we want to encourage and support any of our volunteers and members that want to um get any of those kind of qualifications but it's not about that. Um, education can teach us, teach us a lot, but it can't teach us how it really feels and what the experiences really are. Um, and that is what our volunteers can do. And I think that's proven by that that number 2000. And it's not exactly 2000, it's actually more than that. I don't have the exact number. I believe it's around 2035. Um, but just like, wow. So I just kind of... I, I just wanted to come on and I miss you to be honest I love doing these lives um I really do I, lo I love to to see you you's all even though I can't see you I kind of know you's are there um and it brings me a lot of comfort and things as for everyone have been really stressful and really busy and different things and this is kind of like my my safe place my my community my friends my family in a way plus today's numbers and today's numbers that's what I mean so they'll go on top of that so just every week we are so proud to be helping more and more more and more people and um, we get lovely messages we got a lovely message the other day from someone um in regards to the bereavement who we, we've been helping um and that was that was on our social media things because we were we were just really proud that we could be there we, we're just really happy that we can be there like i said mental health it still has its stigma it always will um to a degree although we are helping thing of that but I think for a lot of people it is just having that understanding um no one is ever the same so you can't say oh yeah i understand that completely because no one understands everything completely but it's known that you're not alone in a time where you might feel you might be in a crowded room and feel the loneliest you've ever felt but we want to be that kind of support and that that place that people know that they can come and, and speak in a safe place in a place where they're never judged um where they're never made to feel daft or silly i always say to to anyone that speaks to me like when they say oh it might sound daft or i've got a stupid question nothing sounds daft nothing sounds like, for a start it's me so if anyone's <laughs> if anyone's daft it's me but there, there is no question that is too silly there is nothing that you can say that is that is stupid or anything like that these feelings how you feel and how you um perceive things and everything they're completely valid because that is part of you you don't have to see things the same way as um the person next to you your partner your family or anything like that but it's about respect and um compassion that i suppose that's the big thing um sorry i've got to tilt my head because i didn't do the thing amazing always here always following amazing figures keep it up certainly making a difference to more and more people in need thank you john um hurt my neck but thank you much appreciated and people like yourself who have been following us since the very beginning um yeah you, you are the reason that that we keep going and that that support and us as volunteers, we're very honest about it. We have bad days. I, um, I've had a bad, goodness, yeah, it feels like. Um, and I think for a while I retreated and I hid away. And those people that know me know that I do that. And it's only starting to talk to people, um, using my own service in a sense, like to, to talk to people and, and be honest. And it, it does, it's really hard. And I think the more kind of down bits that you go through, the harder it gets sometimes to, to admit because you think why am i not over this why am i not feeling better why am i feeling even lower like i, I never got back to this the suicidal level i haven't i haven't been back to there but i have had days recently where i've woke up thinking i really cannot do this anymore i can't do it at how I, fe I felt like a hypocrite um a massive massive hypocrite um i felt like um an imposter um 
And my friend Pete had posted this and it made sense. I read it. I was like, oh my God, yes. I felt like a, a, a massive imposter syndrome. Um, I felt like, how can I be running kind of an organisation like this and, and being the face of an organisation like this when I haven't felt capable to even help those um, around me, when I, I haven't felt like I've been able to say the right things or to to make them feel better? Um and how, how can I do this when I, I struggle to make myself feel better? So we, we are so aware of, of the, the pitfalls and the, the highs and lows, basically. Life doesn't go like that. And it, it just it is ups and downs. And it's just being honest about it and, and knowing like we are. When we say it, we, we don't just say it because we, we should or we think that it's going to get more people to follow us or anything like this. Everything that we say, everything that we post, everything that we talk about, um, whether in groups or on Facebook Lives or anything like that, everything is from the heart and absolutely genuine. Um, the experiences we talk about, they're not case studies, they're not um, things that we've read, they're not stories of such and such as friends, 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 friends. These are things that have happened to to us. Um, and, and, that, and that's important to remember that no matter how big we grow, and it's massive, world domination, I've always said, ah, oh, thanks, Sarah, you've helped me too um no matter how big we go and like i said world domination always being on the cards always being on the cards but i never ever ever want red balloons to ever ever lose the real life aspect um never that that is the whole the peer support and the, re the lived experience and everything there's a whole underpinning one of our core values of of why we operate and and why we do what we do and i i, I hand on heart promise that that will never ever ever be lost um because it is the whole essence of what we do and who we are. Right, so, seriousness over. So yes, lots of numbers, threes, twenties, two thousands, everything, it's amazing. Um, volunteers, like I said, I mentioned on it before, please, if you've debated volunteering um, or debate like, oh, do I send that message? Do I get in touch? Please do, please do get in touch. Um, we would love, uh, we call ourselves the Red Balloons Army, um, and we are, so please get in touch, send the message. It may be that you're not necessarily ready to volunteer yet, but you want to gauge, like you want to put down interest that you're interested in, get there in. Just get in contact with us, please. Um, we, we really need, like even on my t-shirt and the 10K last year, uh, last year, last week, um, we need volunteers. It's like a big, a big, big, big push. So please, please get in touch if you've even thought about it or just had an idea. Maybe it is some experience you need for college or anything like that. But please, if you've got a passion with helping people and you've got an interest in mental health, um, get in touch um, we would love that and fundraising is the other thing so there's a few different ways um, that you can get involved obviously if you want to do any mad crazy challenges by all means do them we will uh, promote you and um, get you some red balloons gear do all of that um, if you want to do any runs um, or anything like that please do please do put us down as the charity if if that is what you would like to do we, we really appreciate anybody that can raise money um, my I'm doing the London Landmarks half marathon in april and my training started officially today which is <laughs> one of the reasons why i look like this um and i'll be raised i will myself be raising money for red balloons um so please do if you're running any official races or anything like that and you want to get involved and raise a bit of money please do that but at the same time there's so many other different ways you can raise money for red balloons without having to do anything crazy or have um any activity going on so I don't know the exact wording of it, but on a post um, a couple of days ago, there's something called easy fundraising. So there's just loads and loads of retailers and online things where if you sign up to them, um, anything you buy, it's it's costing you absolutely nothing. But anything you buy, um, a, a small amount of money comes to Red Balloons. Um, I know Amazon Smile, I know quite a few people have signed up to that. I know I have, um, especially with Christmas coming up. Please, if you don't already have a preferred charity partner on Amazon, please sign up and pop red balloons down there. Um, every penny counts that comes into red balloons is used to build our service and support you. Um, and it, it, it's just, <laughs> I can't, I always get a really bit, a bit funny when I talk about money and stuff because it, unfortunately it's the root of all evil and something that we need to operate and grow like we do. Um, but yeah, Amazon Smile, uh, Facebook, Charity will be coming, but because of my name change, I'm waiting for my identification to be able to put that through. Sorry, magpies everywhere. Um, but Facebook charity will be coming through. So anything like that, any little things, if you've got any questions or anything, I do have the full information I can send you. 
but it's really hard to discuss it online because I haven't got it printed out in front of me. But yeah, Amazon Smile, definitely. Please do. Pretty much everyone I know uh, has Amazon. Please log on. And if you don't have, like I said, if you don't have a preferred partner, um, please add red balloons. Uh, Louise, even just have a cheeky takeaway. Yes, just eat. Just eat is one of the things. So on your weekly takeaways or monthly, if you've been very good, um, all these kind of things, um, easy fundraiser, that's what it's called. Thank you. I knew one of them would jump on and keep me right. Thanks, Lou. Um, yeah, so there's just there's just loads of ways that you can that you can raise money for red balloons. And I'm I'm being genuine when I say pennies count. All these pennies add up. All these pennies go back into being able to train more volunteers, recruit more staff. <laughs> Hi, Craig. Recruit more staff. Um, promote like get more projects. We want projects everywhere. Um, we want more opportunities to give more people chances. Um, in this and and that's ultimately what all of this is all about. Um. I'm pretty sure I've babbled on more. <laughs> I make sense less and less. You can tell that I'm a bit rusty on these because normally I'm a lot more polished, she says. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about anything I've discussed today, please, like I said, message a page, go to our website, www.redballoons.org.uk. Loads of information on there. Phil, our website manager, keeps that mass like absolutely up to date it's a it, i'm not just saying it, it's a fantastic website and you can tell i have nothing to do with it um so get on there if you want to look back on any of my blogs they're on there so you can kind of see if you're new to red balloons and you're a bit like what on earth am i following here what who is this crazy lady just chatting random stuff to me go and find out where we've begun um blogs are on there old videos of these are on there so you can see kind of where we, we built up to this thing and why i am so excited about certain numbers and brought an element of sesame street tears this morning but thank you. I will let you go about your Saturday morning and your weekend. And like I said, you will see me. I can't say that it's going to be regular like it was in lockdown. So I can't say it's going to be every a certain day at any time. But I will, I promise, I will be popping on more and doing lives and being more approachable. Because um, I think people think I've disappeared a bit. But I am not. I'm very, very, very much still here. Um, whether that is a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. But either way, I'm still here. So thank you, as always, for tuning in and listening to me babble on. Have a lovely weekend. And remember, if you do need any support, if you just want in a chat, we've got our messaging service on from 7am to 7pm all weekend. Um, thank you very much. Take care.